Welcome back to our channel. This is a Ned Voyage presentation. Picture this. A city where time seems to stand still, where the old meets the new in a harmonious blend, where the beauty of nature complements stunning architecture. Welcome to Bern, the heart and capital of Switzerland. Nestled amidst the majestic Swiss Alps, this city is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered by travelers. Imagine cobblestone streets lined with medieval buildings, their charm untouched by the passage of time. Think of the towering Bernese Alps in the distance, their snowy peaks a breathtaking backdrop to the city's vibrant life. This is Bern, a city that has gracefully preserved its rich history while embracing the modern world. As the political center of Switzerland, Bern is not just about scenic landscapes and architectural grandeur. It's also a hub of culture, art, and innovation. The city houses some of the country's most renowned museums and art galleries, offering a glimpse into Switzerland's past and present. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Bern is also home to the Zitglaga, an iconic clock tower with an astronomical clock that dates back to the 15th century. Or the Bear Park, a haven for the city's symbol and namesake. And let's not forget the Rosengarten, a beautiful rose garden that offers panoramic views of the city. Bern's allure extends beyond its city limits. Its surrounding region is a paradise for nature lovers, offering countless opportunities for hiking, biking, and skiing. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie or a quiet observer of nature, Bern's natural beauty is sure to captivate you. So, if you're ready for a journey through time, for a blend of history and modernity, for an experience that combines culture, art, and nature, then Bern is the place to be. It's a city that promises to captivate, to inspire, and most importantly, to make you fall in love with its unique charm. So, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 things you can do in Bern. Starting at number 10, visiting the Zitglaga. A journey to Bern would be incomplete without a stop at this ancient clock tower. The Zitglag, a landmark of Bern, is more than just a timekeeper. It's a symbol of the city's rich history. Built in the early 13th century, it's seen Bern grow from a small town into a bustling city. But the Zitglag is more than just an old tower. Inside, you'll find an astronomical clock, a marvel of medieval technology. This intricate device, complete with rotating celestial bodies and mechanical figurines, has been keeping time for over 500 years. It's a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors and a reminder of how far we've come. And with guided tours available, you can delve deeper into the tower's history and workings. The Zitglog, a beacon of time standing tall in the heart of Bern, an experience of time travel right in the heart of Bern. At number nine, we have the Bear Park. This enchanting location is a haven for Bern's city symbol, the Bernese Bears. Now you may be wondering, bears in the heart of a city? Yes, indeed. The Bear Park serves as a home to these magnificent creatures, allowing them to roam freely in an environment that closely mirrors their natural habitat. But it's not all about the bears. The park itself is a beauty to behold. Nestled by the Are River, the park offers breathtaking views that seamlessly blend urban architecture with the lush greenery of nature. Picture this, towering trees swaying gently in the breeze, the city's skyline in the distance, and the tranquil river flowing by. It's a sight that truly soothes the soul. The Bear Park is more than just a park. It's a sanctuary that bridges the gap between urban life and nature's tranquility. A must-visit for animal lovers and those seeking a serene environment. Number 8 calls for a leisurely stroll through the Rosen Garden. This enchanting garden is a treasure trove of over 200 varieties of roses, along with a myriad of irises, rhododendrons, and other floral delights. But it's not just about the roses. The Rosengarten also offers an unrivaled panoramic view of the medieval cityscape of Bern, framed by majestic alpine peaks in the distance. It's as if you've stepped into a living postcard. Imagine immersing yourself in the vibrant hues and intoxicating fragrances of the blooms, all the while being serenaded by the soft rustling of leaves and whispering breezes. The Rosengarten is more than just a garden. It's an oasis of tranquility amidst the bustling city life, a place where time seems to slow down. And let's not forget the charming Bernese mountain dog statue standing guard, a tribute to Switzerland's most beloved canine, a tranquil spot to relax and admire the city's beauty indeed. Our number seven pick takes us to the Bern Historical Museum. As the second largest historical museum in Switzerland, it's a place where history comes alive. From prehistoric artifacts to contemporary art, the museum's extensive collections span over half a million pieces, offering a panoramic view of Bern's rich cultural history. 
Here's a place where the past meets the present, and the city's stories are told in an engaging and interactive way. Every corner of the museum reveals a new chapter, from the medieval armory to the Einstein Museum, which is dedicated to the life and work of Albert Einstein. The museum's rotating exhibitions also ensure that there's always something new to discover, whether you're a history buff or simply curious about Bern's past. A visit to the Bern Historical Museum is like stepping into a time capsule, offering a deeper understanding of the city and its people. A treasure trove for those keen to delve into Bern's rich past. At number six, we recommend a visit to the Federal Palace. Nestled in the heart of Bern, this majestic building serves as the seat of the Swiss Federal Assembly and the Federal Council. The Federal Palace is not just a building, it's a testament to the nation's rich political history and democratic traditions. The architectural beauty of the palace is undeniable. It showcases an eclectic mix of Renaissance and neoclassical styles, which provide a glimpse into the country's artistic evolution. From the grandeur of the central dome to the intricate details of the stone carvings, every feature of the palace is a work of art. Inside, the ornate chambers and halls echo with the decisions that have shaped Switzerland for generations. The sense of power and history is palpable, making every visitor feel part of something bigger. The Federal Palace is more than just a place, it's an experience, one that offers a unique insight into the Swiss political landscape, a symbol of Switzerland's political life. Our number five suggestion brings us to the Bern Cathedral. Towering above the city, this Gothic masterpiece is the tallest cathedral in Switzerland, stretching skywards for an impressive 100 meters. Its construction began in the 15th century and took over 400 years to complete, a testament to the enduring spirit of the Swiss people. Stepping inside, you're greeted by the stunning sight of intricate stained glass windows and a grand organ, one of the largest in the country. But the real highlight is the panoramic view of Bern. Venture up the 344 steps to the top of the bell tower and you're rewarded with a vista that stretches across the city, the Aare River, and beyond, to the snow-capped peaks of the Swiss Alps. The Bern Cathedral is not just a place of worship, but a symbol of the city's rich history and architectural grandeur, a place where spirituality meets breathtaking views. Coming in at number four, exploring the Old Town. Nestled in the heart of Bern, the Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With its cobblestone streets and medieval architecture, it's as if you've stepped back in time. The atmosphere is filled with an air of antiquity, yet there's a vibrant energy that pulses through the narrow winding lanes. Each building here tells a story, their facades etched with centuries of history. You'll find a delightful mix of charming shops where local artisans sell their wares. From handcrafted jewelry to Swiss chocolates and cheeses, these little boutiques are treasure troves waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to marvel at the clock tower, a remarkable example of medieval engineering. Its hourly show is a spectacle that leaves onlookers spellbound. A visit to the Old Town isn't just about seeing sights, it's about immersing oneself in a rich tapestry of history and culture. A walk through history and culture. At number three, we have the Paul Klee Center. Known for its unique architectural design, the Paul Klee Center is a cultural beacon in Bern that no art lover should miss. The center is dedicated to the works of the Swiss painter Paul Klee, a master who dabbled in various styles and techniques, from surrealism to cubism and expressionism. A visit to the Paul Klee Center is a journey through the artist's creative universe. It houses around 4,000 works by Klee, providing a comprehensive insight into his artistic oeuvre. The center is not just a museum, but also an active cultural hub, hosting concerts, theater performances, and workshops for both children and adults. The building itself, designed by renowned Italian architect Renzo Piano, is a remarkable sight. Its wave-like structure, blending seamlessly with the surrounding landscape, is a testament to Klee's love for nature and his belief in the unity of art and the environment. No visit to Bern is complete without experiencing the Paul Klee Center, a treat for art lovers. Number two on our list is enjoying the Aar River. This majestic river, winding its way through the city of Bern, is the lifeblood of the city, a place where locals and visitors alike come to unwind, play and marvel at nature's beauty. Imagine yourself dipping into the cool turquoise waters, letting the gentle current carry you downstream. As you float, you'll witness the city from a unique perspective, its medieval architecture set against a backdrop of lush green hills and bright blue skies. For those who prefer to stay dry, the river's edge offers an idyllic setting for a leisurely picnic. 
With the soothing sounds of the flowing river and the picturesque views, it's a perfect spot to relax and soak in the serene ambiance. The R River isn't just a river, it's a playground, a haven, a piece of the wild right in the heart of Bern, a refreshing escape in the heart of the city. And finally, at number one, we have the Gurten, Park im Grunen. This delightful local mountain is a treasure trove of natural beauty, just waiting to be explored. Standing tall over the city of Bern, the Gurten offers panoramic views that are simply breathtaking. Picture this, the entire cityscape unfolding before your eyes, a tapestry of historic buildings, the winding Are River, and the distant Swiss Alps. But the Gurten is more than just a lookout point. It's a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether you're an avid hiker or a casual stroller, the mountain's trails are a joy to traverse. And if you're not up for a hike, don't worry. The Gurten Funicular Railway is ready to whisk you to the summit in comfort and style. So when in Bern, make sure you carve out some time to visit the Gurten, Park im Grunen. It's the perfect ending to your Bern adventure. And there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Bern. We've immersed ourselves in the rich history of the Zitglog, felt the wild spirit of the Bear Park, and basked in the beauty of the Rosengarten. We've delved into the past at the Bern Historical Museum, marveled at the grandeur of the Federal Palace, and gazed in awe at the Bern Cathedral. We've stepped back in time in the Old Town, admired the modern artistry at the Paul Klee Center, found tranquility by the R River, and discovered a haven of green at the Gurten, Park im Grunen. Each of these experiences offers a unique insight into the charm and character of Bern. So whether it's your first visit or your 50th, there's always something new to discover, something to inspire, something to excite, because that's the magic of travel, isn't it? Remember to like and subscribe to Ned Voyage for more intriguing and interesting contents.